Rappers continue to react to the passing of King Von four years later, as recently we just heard Boosie reveal that King Von's biggest mistake on the night that he passed was that he was not strapped. I mean, like you said, the King Von situation, like there, there was absolutely no reason for for Von to to be rolling around with that dude. Like there was no, especially since he had security. Like you know, someone should have jumped in. It, it should never even, you know. King I almost feel like, yeah, but I almost feel like if all you have real security, bad. all them is supposed to black. I feel like they would have been more ready in Chicago. Sad, man. Sad. I mean, the whole King Von thing is really yeah, kind of hanging me up, over bro. everyone right now. That fucked me up, bro. You know. I like King Von. You know? However, rappers would continue revealing new updates on the truth behind Von's passing. As on November 5th, 2020, King Von and his crew prepared to head to a club in Atlanta for his album's release party. The night was supposed to be a massive celebration of the life and success for King Von, but nobody knew that it would be so short lived. King Von had many enemies. Growing up in a dangerous place such as O Block, he knew the risks of being caught lacking in public. So when he was rolling to the club, King Von had a crew with him of 20 to 25 members members across eight different vehicles that all went to the surprise party. As even King Von's manager 100k track said, Von took extreme measures for security. I travel with one security that moves with Von and he traveled with two more security. You know what I'm saying? Von travel in a proof truck. And not only that, his guys are security, man. He travels with 10 to 15 guys daily. They protect and love Von more than any security would. We're like, I think we're about eight, 10 cars deep, uh, 20, 25 on honor hours. Um, However, later on in the night, something would change. Vaughn would start acting out and he would put his life in jeopardy. But in the meantime, Vaughn's party was going great. Everyone was having a great time celebrating the success of King Vaughn's newest album. Then when the party ended at around 2.30 AM, Vaughn and his entourage began exiting the club. Everyone had the plan of returning to the Airbnb in hotels for the night, but King Vaughn changed the plans and decided to go elsewhere. Everybody, mind leaving the club is that we're going to the hotel and the airbnb because that's normal routine the club you went to the after the hours wasn't getting paid for i didn't have no acknowledgement of this team that had no acknowledgement of that was a that was a complete Vaughn decision. Now with the whole crew heading to the Airbnb, King Vaughn would tell his driver to go to a different club known as the Monaco Lounge, as this would be the first bad decision that King Vaughn made on this night. So everybody else that was with us driving to the Airbnb and Vaughn literally went to the venue by himself. It's we got a call later from um people in the car like, hey bro, we here by matter of fact, I think from his DJ was like, hey bro, you know we here by ourselves. Like, where you guys at? And everybody rerouted to that venue. Now, for some reason, the people in Vaughn's truck only let the rest of the team know the plans have changed once they arrived at Monaco. So when the rest of the team found out at the Airbnb, they quickly turned on their vehicles and the others made a quick U-turn and started beelining it straight to the Monaco lounge. As once Vaughn's manager got to Monaco, he knew immediately something was off about King Vaughn, and he wasn't acting like the upbeat guy like he usually is. He was very quiet, sitting in the back seat of his car. Now, Vaughn's crew was ready to enter the club, but King Vaughn sat in the truck for up to 30 minutes. For some reason, Vaughn wasn't himself. This man is like, I promise you, the, the best artist I ever moved in my life. For some reason that night, it was all like, we, he stayed in the car for like 30, 35 minutes. This is then when 100K Track got into the vehicle with Vaughn and checked up on him. Vaughn then finally agreed to go into the lounge. But due to Monaco's club rules, King Vaughn's entire crew had to leave their firearms in the car. So with no firearms being inside, the security would go in the Monaco lounge first to check the club, making sure everything was safe. I went to the car he was in, I was like, yo, Vaughn. Went inside the passenger seat. I'm like, yo, Vaughn, bro, what's going on? Like. Everybody here waiting, let's go. He was like, all right, let's go. We're telling security, hey, it's time to go in now. Vaughn's ready. You know what I'm saying? We've been here too long. Let's go inside the club. They check the venue, go inside, check the outside, make sure there's no... As while the security was inside checking the club out, the real danger was actually outside of the club in a parking lot because Quando Rondo was in his car with a couple of his own friends trying to get some sleep with King Vaughn and a few of his friends sitting in the parking lot waiting for the okay from their security to go in. They realized that Quando was sleeping in his car and somebody would tell King Vaughn that he was over there and he would immediately begin running. Now, right before we go inside the club, one of his, um, one of his homeboys, he came to the car and said, hey, so-and-so's here. And Vaughn just jumped up like, 
Oh, come on, let's go. King Von reacted instantly, jumping out of the truck, looking to confront Quando Ronda. Von's team tried to get him to chill out and not start a scene, but that didn't stop him at all. King Von went around of the front of the white vehicle and immediately began swinging at Quando. He jumped up, jumped out the car. By the time Von jumped out the car, I don't even think he knew where so-and-so was. He just jumped out the car. He bumped into so-and-so. As soon as he bumped into so-and-so, started brawling. As King Von was giving Quando Rondo the business right in the middle of the street. However, Quando's best friend, Lil Tim, then wakes up from his sleep in the back seat. He stumbles out of the white car with his firearm and ends up using it towards King Von and Quando right in the middle of the street. He was using it wildly, hitting Von multiple times while also hitting Von's manager once in the leg. However, some of Von's members were still strapped. They instantly retaliated against Lil Tim, making him fall to the ground only a few feet away. Then with the sound of clips going off in the area, two off-duty officers working security down the street, and one on-duty officer would quickly pull up to the scene. They would begin unleashing multiple rounds into the area, which sadly resulted in the passing of one of King Von's friends. During this, King Von is lying in the middle of the street with Quando right beside him. People online believe that Quando was actually trying to snatch Von's chain before fleeing the area, but others say that Von was not letting go of Quando no matter what. He was using him as a shield. And was he trying to take Von's chain? or um honest truth i don't think v roy had no jewelry um on and from the people that was a little bit closer vaughn was actually holding onto him like man you ain't going nowhere like you here like even through getting He's that strong, like he just, like he was Crazy. literally holding him. Then once the scene relaxed a bit and people stopped using their firearms, the race to save King Von's life was officially on. His closest friend Muop ran right into the middle of the street. He knocked Quando right out of the way from Von. Quando and his team would then quickly leave the scene, including the hitter of Lil Tim. They would then jump into their white car and start heading to the hospital. Meanwhile, Von's crew helped him up, get into the getaway vehicle and also drive to the same hospital. Despite being hit four times, King Von was conscious the entire time inside of the vehicle. The members that were in the car have spoken out, saying what was going on, as they said that Von was trying to keep everyone in good spirits and assured everyone that everything would be okay. When he was in the car, um, I myself wasn't there. The gentleman that was in the car with him was panicking, and Von was the one that was like, hey, calm down, slow down, chill, I'm, I'm gonna be good, just get him to the hospital. And honest truth, we all thought that the way he was carrying himself, um, from that incident, from what I was told from the people in the car, that he, that he would have been fine. After arriving at the hospital, King Von was then quickly rushed into the operating room, but unfortunately passed during the surgery. And then once the news of Von's passing shook the entire rap industry online, many couldn't even believe it, as Von is one of Chicago's most fearless and dangerous members of O Block. It was actually unbelievable to see Von had fallen to beef with another rapper. This made national headlines as officials confirmed one of the three people was rapper King Vaughn from Chicago, who was here last night with friends. Two groups of individuals got into a physical altercation. That physical altercation uh, escalated into an exchange of guns. On the other side, Lil Tim did survive his injuries at the hospital. The following day, however, he was arrested and charged with the passing of King Vaughn. Lil Tim did go through multiple bond hearings and he was denied. But in March 2021, he received a $100,000 bond and ever since then, the charges against Lil Tim were actually dropped. As confirmed by his attorney in August 2023, it states, the case against Mr. Leaks, aka Lil Tim, was dismissed before ever being indicted. But jumping back into the year 2020, only two weeks after Vaughn sadly passed, Quando Rondo would release a disrespectful track titled End of Story. This is implying that it was the end of King Vaughn since he is also known for the Crazy Story music series. In the lyrics, Quando goes off about that night. He says, and I quote, your brother on the ground, go pick your man up. That's right, we scream in self-defense. He shouldn't have put his hands on me. Look at the footage. That's all the evidence, see? Those men shouldn't have ran up on me. Then Lil Tim would follow it up with his track, trying to start a music career off the incident, where he raps the lyrics, and I quote on his song, Off The List, just checked a new man off the list, quick to get you down, check the score, I don't miss. This is referencing the night of King Von's passing, and saying that he checked Von off of the list of people to hit. It would be this moment when Von's best friend Lil Durk, as well as O-Block members, knew that they had to do something about it. They couldn't just let them get off the hook for what they did. So in the following months, we would hear of a big time hit against Quando's crew. Right now, the search is on for three people who police say at a Savannah rapper.
a member of his entourage. It happened in Los Angeles and cameras captured the aftermath. As a result, one of Kwando's closest and best friends, Lil Pab, was taken out during the hit. News footage captured the moment that Kwando found out and he experienced the same pain that Vaughn's friends did just one year prior. This man, a passenger in that car, frantic at the sight. Not long after that, Dirk would actually claim to be behind the hit with a diss track titled Aha. With the lyrics and I quote, They like Dirk, he is singer, he won't do some. You can believe whatever you want, I got your folks hit. And he even mentions how Quando screamed after finding Lil Pab was gone. In his future on Wonderful Wayne and Jackie Boy, where he says the lyrics and I quote, Look on the news and see your son screaming no no. Now Quando's ultimately backed down since losing someone very close to him. He's even tried to distance himself from the entire street life. However, O Block in general hasn't been nearly the same since King Vaughn is gone. The members are a lot more on edge after seeing what happened to Vaughn. Someone they thought could never fall to the street life. Even something as simple as going across the street to look at King Vaughn's mural. As O Block members would show this during an Instagram live. Check it out. I'm walk over here and see this Levant, this Vaughn picture. I know it's a lot of ops on this. I'm letting y'all see where I'm at. Why is this black truck still right here? Man. Watch that truck. Watch that truck right there. 